All right, this is the final part. I might talk for maybe a good five, ten minutes, and I'll, end, I'll shut the camera here. And I'll take my shower, and I'll go to the store and get my pack of smokes. I could get beer, but if I get beer, I have to wait two days for my check, which I, two, two days for my check on these, which I don't want to do. And I'll just get a pack of smokes. And I'll enjoy the video with you guys. And afterwards, I might watch some Brad Brad. Obviously. Yeah, when you see the trailer, you're going to see how badass me, John Maega, Digimon, Sue, and like Don Chi are going to be in the movie because we're all Northerns. Whereas, whereas Carl Urban and like Avon Joje and like the serious actor, John Rice Davis, if I hire him right, and Andy Serkis, they're they're good. They're good fighters, but they're they're Southerns. They're not as good as the Northerns. I'm saying, because Merrimus and Cassis have been training since they were kids. Tassatonius and Cassis have been and, and Tassatonius and Tacus have been training since they were kids, as well as Ijus Alba. You're gonna see how badass Ijus Alba is in the movie too, because he's a Northern too. He's a King of Xanus. He's a badass fighter. Yeah, but well, you only see Tacus the first in the prologue and the end of Volume Three. Hence, hence what. As I just I was more of a minor character, but he, he he's the main character in the prologue. The prologue will have it be a good like forty five minutes long. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have some narrator do. I'm like Peter might tell me Ivan, you can just narrate the prologue if you want. I'm like no Peter, I want to tell the whole story, tell the story of Tachius the first's life before when Tachius is born. Oh, I think that's cool. Yeah, let me tell a better story. No, you give I just Alba a good chunk of scenes. I don't pay him millions for nothing. I want him to have a good chunk of scenes in the movie. Let's start the prologue off. With I just Alba's story and my birth, Taki's the second's birth, obviously. I won't spoil the story for you. Have the prologue be a good 40, 45 minutes long. And you end the prologue there, and you don't see I just Alba until the end of volume three. Obviously. Because I just because I just because Taki's the first starts of the story, he's a key to the plot. Pay I just Alba his millions the way he works harder for you. You need to pay him a lot of money the way he works hard. Pay him a nice like twelve point five million dollars with the movie for his base, and you give him a nice zero point zero. Two percent of the profits. Give Ijus Alba a nice eleven million dollars of the profits. Ijus Alba is worth about thirty million dollars, so give him zero point zero two. That's good. It's a good pay. That's a good deal for him. Give him eleven million dollars for the profits. It's a good deal for him. Well, obviously, for Ijus Alba. So you sign like a twenty-three million dollar deal, and and if I do the game, if I do the game, obviously he signed like a twenty like five million dollar deal. It's a massive contract Ijus Alba signed. He's gonna walk away with I don't know, like a like a, like a lot of money in his bank. He lives in in London, so he'll walk away with maybe I don't know eight nine million bucks in his bank, eight million bucks maybe because you have the pound rates right. <clears throat> so he'll walk away with a bit less. I, th I believe he lives in London. He's gonna walk away with a fat check on a bank man. Yeah, man, he'll work really hard because I paid him twelve point five. Because I know if I pay I just offer like a million dollars, he won't work as hard. If you pay him like his twelve point five million for 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 for. Ivan, you're paying me $25 million for a minor role? Yeah, because I want you to destroy the role of my father. And he's a key, he's key to the plot. He starts the story off, and he's when you read volume three, he's key to the whole plot. That's why you need to pay him a lot of money. That way he destroys the role. I'm gonna tell Ijaba look, man, I want I want acting on the same level as Jim's Jim Cavagel's Passion of the Christ. I have no worry about it. he destroys the role, I just Alba. Yeah, I have no worry about it. You, know, you pay me a lot of money, more than what Hollywood pays me. I'll I'll, I'll 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 work hard for you, Ivan. He destroys don't worry about it, Ivan. He destroys the role. Don't worry about it, Ivan. Knows. Yeah, guaranteed the actors might get th might get together before production starts. The actors are all nervous, obviously. You know what I'm saying? The actors might get together. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, you know what I'm saying? Ivan Ivan took out four hundred dollars of his own money to pay us a rich salary. He gave us. He's nice enough to give us a piece of royalties that we're not we're not even worth. Yes. Let's not fuck up his masterpiece. Yes, man. I pay you a lot of money. Do not fuck up my fucking masterpiece. I paid Peter a lot of money. Do not fuck up his masterpiece. Peter might pull Gremo aside. Hey, Gremo Toro, we need to work hard. We need to take our nose. Let's not fuck up Ivan's masterpiece, man. Ivan paid us a lot of money that Hollywood doesn't pay. Yes. He spoiled us. He's, he was nice to save us. Let's not fuck up his masterpiece. Yes, do not fuck up my fucking masterpiece, man. Which they won't. The actors are going to destroy the role. They're going to work really triple harder than what they even did in Hollywood. Better acting than even those Lord of the Rings actors, guys. And Peter will destroy the world. You're going to see Peter Jackson in the zone when he directs, man. You're going to see Guatemala Tour helping him out in the zone. You're going to see the first shooting director team, the second director team in the zone helping out Peter. And you get, and Zayas ends up being an amazing movie. Yeah, an amazing movie. Yeah, flawless movie, man. The almost perfect movie, right? Yeah. Will Zayas have flaws? Yes, no movie's perfect. 
chances are Zayn's might have a few flaws here and there in the movie, obviously. It's tough to make it. No movie's perfect, obviously. But Zayn's will be the almost perfect movie, man. It'll be a masterpiece. Just like Lord of the Rings has very few flaws. The only flaws I have in Lord of the Rings are what? Are the CGI and some of the adding. Some of the, there's some adding flaws. In, 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 in. Well, in terms of story, there's, there, really, there really is no flaws. A few flaws in the story, obviously. But the story, like, 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 um, like one thing that I find very silly in the movie was Frodo sending Sam home. You walk all that way. You walk all that way from, 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 from. <coughs> you walk all that way, what? All the way from the, from, from, from the Shire. Sam has no food and Frodo sends him home. I thought that was very stupid. So go home, Sam. Uh, Sam won't survive if he, if he goes back home. He has no food. They had very little lumas, lumas bread left. You know what I'm saying? He will not be able to, it's, 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 it's been, it's been, it's been a long time since they left the Shire. He won't make it to the Shire. <laughs> I thought that was very silly. Go home, Sam. Uh, that was very silly. There's, there's some flaws in Lord of the Rings, but it's the almost perfect movie. But Zayn's will have flaws too. As no movie's perfect. Because I paid everyone a lot of money, they're all going to work hard for me. You're barely going to catch any flaws in my movie. You're not going to see Lars appearing out of nowhere. Don't hate Peter Jackson. You're not going to see the what? The elf army appearing out of nowhere. Like, how do they, how do they sneak past the orcs? The orc army is approaching, and all of a sudden, the elf army arrives to, 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 to what? Arrives to, to the river. Now, how do they get there? How do they get there without being spotted by the orcs? I don't... That I'll never know. Yeah, there's adding problems and some CGI problems in, 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 in what? In Lord of the Rings, obviously. I'm not kidding around. That one scene... That one scene where they're like, they retreat, the, the orcs breached Helm's Deep, you know what I'm saying? I'm not kidding around. What? I recommend you guys watch that scene again. You see like a hundred men. There's literally like a hundred men left, man. And the orcs breach. Some of them are fighting the orcs, obviously. And then the next scene, there's ten men left. I'm like, what the fuck happened to all those men? Ivan, they died. They died defending the place. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah, but how did they die? They just all died like that? Like, there's ten people left? How did they all die? They all went up. They all went up. They all they all ran upstairs. How did they all die? Oh, Ivan, that's bad editing. Yes, yeah, bad editing. That's obviously an example of bad editing, obviously, in Lord of the Rings. Why? Because the special effects team... They got sh a shitty pay. They, got, they made their fifty, forty, sixty thousand dollars. Hollywood fed them shittier food, and they put pressure on them. Obviously, rule number one. I'm not kidding around. This is common sense. This is what. This is what. This is filmography 101. Never put pressure on your special effects team. Never put pressure on your special effects team. Special effects team are the heart and soul of your fucking movie. Never put pr pressure. Never put pressure on your what? On your cinematographers, and never put pressure on your special effects team. They're the fucking heart and soul of the whole fucking movie. After the actors, the cinematographers and special effects team are the most important, the most important crew, uh, crew crewmen in your movie. All the other crewmen have a part to play. They're all important, but they're not as important as the cinematographers. The cinematographers are the people who what? Who film your movie? You, that, they're the people who, without cinematography, you don't have a movie. And the special effects team are the one who edit edit your movie, obviously, with all the special effects. They're the heart and soul of the crew, obviously. Hence, why I never put pressure on your special effects team. I read to Peter Jackson, Peter. When when post production takes place. Please don't put pressure on a special effects team. I and I won't. No, Peter, I'm serious. Don't put fucking pressure on my special effects guys, man. Don't put pressure on them. Otherwise, they're going to slack off more. I, I don't want cheesy stuff going on in my movie like, they, like you did for Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and Lord of the Rings. For Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, you caught some cheesy scenes too. The two giants who were seen afterwards and no to be seen. Yeah, I don't want cheesiness in my movie. Don't put pressure on a special team. Just ask them politely, how long will it take for you to edit this movie? Okay, guys. How long will it take for you to edit this movie? Be honest. I don't mind waiting even 9, 10 months. Just tell me. Let me know. Ivan, it'll take us 8 months. Okay, fine. Are you sure it'll take you 8 months? Are you sure you'll need more time? No, Ivan, 8 months is more enough time for us to edit the movie. Okay. After the 8 months, you guys are finished. I will let Amazon know and I'll send them the footage. That way they can burn the file onto the nice 4K Blu-ray disc. I'm saying. And I'll have my, my team send them the files for the 4K Blu-ray covers. The volume The volume covers. And the box set covers, as well as the posters and all that stuff, right? Well, the posters I'll send and send, send them to them before, and I'll send them the file for the billboards for the red carpet. I'll, I'll send Virgin Talk with the files for the for the billboards for the red carpet, obviously. Obviously, okay. So I'll host a party. I'll hold, I'll do the red carpet event two three weeks after you finish adding the whole file. Yeah, you know, to edit all three volumes will take us a good eight months, Ivan. Eight, nine, eight months. Okay, fine. I'll, are you sure? You need, are you sure eight months is enough time? Are you sure you don't need more time? No, Ivan. Eight months is more enough time. Okay, guys. I'm trusting you that you'll finish this in eight months. I don't want to hear any bad news that you need more time because I asked. I asked you specifically if you need more time. You said no. 
So be honest with me. Do you need more? Do you need more time, or like is eight months enough time? No, I have eight months enough. Okay, fine. I'll release Zayas towards I don't know Christmas or the fall of of, of 20, 2030. I might release Zayas around Christmas time, maybe early December, like Lord of the Rings. Do something like that, like Lord of the Rings. Release it in December. I might do that. Or Halloween around October. It just depends how long it takes for the for for the for the team to edit all the to edit the footage, obviously. Peter, please don't put pressure on them, Peter, man. Otherwise, they're gonna slide. You said I want this done in five months. They're gonna they're gonna be pressured, and chances are they're gonna rush a few things. They're gonna catch cheese in your movie. No, don't do that. Let, give them. Give, don't put pressure. Just ask them how long it will take for them to add the file. They'll appreciate you. Trust me. Yeah, Ivan didn't put pressure on me. I'm not stressed out. You know what I'm saying? He asked me politely how long it will take for me to add the file. Yeah, and feed your your your, your what? Your special effects team with with what? With 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 with, with, with a luxurious buffet. Yeah, feed them with, 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 with feed them with what, with 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 with, 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 with a luxurious buffet, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now I can give them one day off a week, maybe. Obviously, okay. I can I can have you guys work six days. I can give you one day off if you want. The way they're not stressed out because having them work seven days a week for eight months is too. It's really stressing. So I can give them one day off a week if you want. Have them work Monday to Saturday and give them Sundays off if you want. You can do that. Give them Sundays off. That way they're not stressed out. Yeah, okay, I'll give you guys one day off the way you, that way you have a break and you're not stressed out. But I'm not giving you any more than one day off, man. You guys need to work, man. You got to get this thing edited, man. And I'll pay all the guys a nice one seventy thousand or salary the way they work hard for you. And you pay the uh, the main guys are two million, and you pay the pay the only guys I'll pay two million are the main. VFX guys and the main editor. So the one main editor pay him is two million, and the main like one or two VFX artists pay him two million. The guy in charge, <coughs> and all the other assistants pay him the one seventy thousand dollars salary. You're probably looking at a 30, 40 team of special effects people. So only three, four people I'll pay two million. Everyone else you pay them their one seventy thousand dollars salary, which is a nice pitch. They don't make that how in Hollywood they make like 40, 50, 60 k. Peter, I, people are like, yeah, I have them work harder for, for, for us. Because you pay them the rich once in a thousand. Yeah, they're going to walk away with like a $100 plus thousand dollar check in their bank. Nice paycheck for an editor, man. It's a nice paycheck. Enough to last you for a year, year and a half. Nice paycheck, obviously. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why Zane's with the best story we told the most adventure. Yeah, man. Yeah, so once touring is over, if I go touring... If I go touring, I will. Uh, me and VJ will be watching post production. So what chances are, if I go touring while post production takes place, I'll be touring with with Peter and all them. And then once the tour is over, I, I I'll watch the rest of post production for the remaining months. I'll do a thing where I'll watch post production for a good maybe two weeks, and then after that, me and VJ can go on a two week vacation. And then Peter, Peter can, more, is more than welcome to watch if he wants. I'll ask Peter, Peter, do you want to watch post production for the remaining I don't know five months? Or, or do you want to go home? Oh, I, mean, I want to watch post session because he wants to be saved, obviously. Okay, fine. I can have you watch post session. But if, if you watch post session, Peter, you will be sleeping in a trailer. I'm not going to have you stay in a hotel. You're going to be sleeping in a trailer. You're going to be sleeping in a trailer, obviously. But I'll put money into like a TV in the room for them to watch. I'll put money into a TV where, they, where the people can watch TV. And I'll have Wi-Fi in, in, in my property. That way Peter can, can watch stuff on his phone in his trailer. That way he's not bored. I'm saying you can do that for Peter if you want. I can have a TV for Peter for Peter in his in his trailer if you want. That way he's not bored. You can watch stuff on YouTube and all stuff. I'm saying you can do that for him to make it more. And Peter will be fed with with all the other because Peter will want to be a part of post production. It's his movie, man. He directed it. He wants to be a part of it. And Guatemal Toro, I, I won't have him be a part of it. I can have I can send him home, or I can have him be a part of post production if he wants to. Guatemal Toro, you're more than happy to be a part of post production with Peter if you want. But you're gonna have to watch. You're gonna have to stay in the trailer, and you're gonna be watching for like final five months, man. Something crazy, <laughs> yeah. And I'll give the special effects team once a month parties. That way, that way they're not. That way, you give them a good experience. Okay, once a month, guys, I'll have a party for you guys. You guys can do a nice party in my property. You can either do a party in my property, or I can have you guys all go to the bar, and it'll pay through the budget. And you guys can get drunk at the bar if you want, or you can do a party. I'll just do a party in the property. Do a nice party in the property. Something cool like that. Nice party, a nice party in, 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 you do a nice party in my office, 
Not my special effects unit building. I don't want I don't want stuff getting damaged. You can do a party in my office if you want, or or outside. And everyone has chairs. You do you I get music, you blast music in my property, you do a nice party in my property, yeah. I mean cool like that, yeah man. That's why my Scott's coming with the best brand in the industry, yeah man. And Peter will have a blast. That's why I will beg his ass. Why can I be in your great escape majors? I'm like, no, Peter. You're not good for, for, for those movies. That's why Peter will have a blast. The world tour, the buzz, the parties, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the buzz of the fans, trends. That's been crazy. People will be playing on top of the world, yeah, man. Anyways, here's the videos. I remember I'm signing up. Peace.